one of my mentors, Ron Bruder, um, you know, taught me what mentorship was really all about. I met him professionally. I was introduced to him. He was very accomplished, very s successful, much, you know, many years my senior, very wise. We got along. And, you know, a week or two later, I, I had a question that I thought he might be able to help me with. And I called him and he took my call. I'd only met him once. And they took my call again. Then, then we met for lunch. He just kept saying yes. And he became my mentor, you know? And I remember I was at his house one day and I was getting, I was, I was leaving and I put my arm around him and I used the M word for the very first time. I said, I love that you're my mentor. And he said something to me that I didn't expect. He said, and I love that you're mine. And that's when I realized a mentor relationship is, is more like a friendship, you know? You can't just walk up to a random person and say, will you be my mentor? Of course. Just like you can't walk up to a random person and say, will you be my friend? Mm -hmm. That's not how it works. Mentor relationships evolve uh, because a mentor always has time for you. Um, they see something in you for some reason that they make time for you. Um, and they learn as much as they, as much as they teach. Yeah. They come into it because they, they learned something. I never knew that Ron was getting something from our time together. I yeah. thought he was just doing me favors because he yeah. was an amazing guy. Um, and a mentor relationship is more, it's a mentor-mentor relationship. Mm -hmm. So this whole idea of like, you're assigned to be someone's mentor. Yeah, yeah. I'm like, ah, maybe, that could work. Well, that seems, a little, again, going back to sort of a transactional, like, you transactional. know, mentor. You know, you have yeah. to have mentors and you have to yeah. seek them out. Yeah. I remember when I was junior looking for a job, you know, people would say, what are you looking for? And my standard answer in every interview as an entry level you know, idiot was, uh, that's the theme in my, in my career. Um, For the next book. I'm just a more senior idiot now. Yeah. Um, uh, when they say, what are you looking for? My answer was always the same. I said, what I'm looking for is probably a, akin to looking for love, but I'm looking for a mentor. Uh -huh. And every job that I was looking for, I was, I was more concerned about the people I would work for than I was how much they would pay me or whether the account was high profile or low profile. And so I took jobs with like, accounts that nobody ever heard of uh, because I didn't care. I cared about the people I was going to work for. I wanted to work with really smart, amazing people yeah. who would teach me and help me grow. Yeah. And that's one of the reasons I got to work with some of these wonderful people. Yeah.